background. And then this one is uh, on Disney. Bank of America securities analyst reiterated, for those of you who pay attention, Disney was down big after earnings because their streaming guidance wasn't as optimistic as everyone wanted and the parks uh, wasn't as optimistic. So now people are making up this narrative about the consumer and maybe there'll be some short term softness. Maybe there won't. I like the note that the Bank of America put out. Disney has a collection of best in class premier assets in content, intellectual property, as well as theme parks. That's been our thesis from the 80s and uh uh, Near-term catalysts include, number one, additional updates on strategic priorities for Disney, and number two, inflection in profitability in direct-to-consumer. Uh, we think the stock price reaction today is as much about the tough comp comparison against uh, uh, Q1 of last year, something for everyone report, as it is about reported results, et cetera, et cetera. So again, this is Disney. Young man knows the rules, old man knows the exceptions. And the exception here is that it's Disney. There is no comparison. Yes, Universal Parks are getting better. Uh, but I think as you see linear TV continuing to slide uh, with, uh, as we saw with Warner Brothers Discovery today and um, streaming build, there's only a few major players in streaming. They're also doing a bundle with Warner Brothers Discovery. So I think good things are happening here. This is the same as the transition in the early 80s when they went to VHS and they got to sell all of their great content library all over again. They're doing the same playbook with streaming and people will buy it for their kids because you just don't know what your kids are watching on YouTube, but you do know what they're watching when you get Disney, particularly the classic stuff. Maybe the new stuff is not as exciting as everyone would like, but I think Iger got the message and is cleaning that up.